Wise one, we have heard a lot about you. Please, can you tell us more about 20 years a king? 20 years a king? Yes. Okay, come with me. Okay, Long, long ago, before Niger music dominated the airwaves from Lagos to Togo and to Trinidad and Tobago. And Tobago. Thank you very much. Before the spicy stew and the and sold out, out venues, venue. there was gloom in the land. A period where the scourge of piracy forced a lot of record labels to shut down. For a Nigerian young man seeking for a career in music, his prospects were as dim than the flickering flame of a drying kerosene lantern. Undeterred by these challenges, a small group of young, budding talents and a few part-time executives, and of course a few media personalities, undertook the task of building a skyscraper from a crumbling heart. Amongst these young budding artist was the irresistibly gifted and talented singer-songwriter who side by side with his beautiful gifted boy band in the year 1999 dropped the single that will change the face of Nigerian music. The title was Knock Me Off. Now that monster hit introduced the world to an unstoppable force that will go on to inspire a generation, birth a new sound that will literally sow the seeds of what is today globally acclaimed as the Afrobeats movement. Now, this is not just the story of a trailblazer of many firsts. Oh no. This is not even the story of someone who went ahead and won international awards and just frittered off. No. This is the story of an irresistibly talented young man who has become the undeniable reference point for an entire era. This is the story of the awesomely gifted Tu Baba. Wow. Who is not only here to stay, but is 20 years a king. As I'm standing here, I want to celebrate it. See, I don't want to regret it. Every single second, I am saying I appreciate it. I don't want to waste it No time to stop to negotiate it That's why I sing I sing this joyful song Praising the Lord for giving me life Through my papa and my mama I got to say that I love ya I thank all the peaceful citizens